Paano diba? pag honey, may 50% sale? Hmm. Emergency yun, di ba? Pag kulang yung pera mo, mag-uutang ka. Mag-uutang ka. Yung may mga bisyo dyan. Oh my, oh my gosh, you're right. Pwede na ninyo, pwede na ninyo tigilan ah, yung bisyo okay, ninyo. Right. These are the things that, you know, we really need to practice self-control. What is an emergency fund? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in the later years of our marriage, we only found out about it, diba? Oh, yeah. Um, looking back at our financial topics, this question keeps coming up. They wanted more clarity. Ano po ba yung emergency fund? Paano po ba mag-build up ng emergency fund? Mm -hmm. So, remember the story of how I rewarded myself at the wrong time? Remember that video that we showed? Yeah. And I wanted to reward myself. Uh, I wanted to buy a TV, a plasma TV, 50 inch, and I wanted to buy some JBL speakers. I was happy until the bills started coming in. So anyway, if only we had an emergency fund set up, or at least personally, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, I would have enjoyed it a little more. Mm -hmm. So today we'll be discussing what is an emergency fund? The challenges, the benefits of trying to build up that fund. So, we will try and break it down for you guys. Para naman maka emergency fund din kayo for your families. Yeah, and maybe discuss on how you can put that emergency fund up with, I guess, limited um, Yeah, limited money. capacity. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can. Of course you can. So, let's go back. Ano ba ang emergency fund? So, ang emergency fund ay a sum of money set aside to cover unexpected expenses mm -hmm. due to unforeseen circumstances. Okay. Ano ba yung mga circumstances na yun? Okay. So, siguro number one is um, pag may magkasakit. So, medical bills. Um, something with the house. Something that probably happened. Home diba? repairs. Home repairs. Yeah. Whatever it is. Diba? Yeah. Meron din tayong mga um, nawalan ka ng trabaho. Oh, diba? Pero ang dami niyong kailangan bayaran. So, Tama. kailangan mag-set aside para doon just in case. Diba? Let's talk about the benefits and challenges ng, ng, ng emergency fund. Number one is peace of mind. Mm. Diba? Having an emergency fund can provide a sense of security. Para may security ka and peace of mind knowing na meron kang parang financial cushion to fall back in case na mangyari yung emergency. Now, let's quantify it naman, mm -hmm. mabilang. Usually, for us, mm -hmm. at least three to four months of monthly expenses. Mm -hmm. So, electricity bills, um, phone bills, uh, internet, food, salary ng mga yes, assistant, mm -hmm. assistants nyo. So, if, for example, you're spending 10000 a month, mm -hmm. you need to set aside times three to four months. Mm -hmm. Diba? So, for 40000 Right. So, but if your household is, uh, um, is, is spending 100000 a month, mm -hmm. then you multiply that by three to four months. At mm -hmm. least po yan, ha? at least. Pero um, if you're capable naman of paying your utilities in advance. Mm -mm. So, right now kasi we're um, financially comfortable, mm -mm. right? So, beyond our emergency fund, ang ginagawa ko din is uh, advance payments. Advance payments para I don't have to worry about the monthly. For example, um, let's say like your phone bill, diba? You will actually, you can actually pay that 12 months in advance. And mm -hmm. sometimes you'll even get discounts. Uh -oh. Diba? Your cable, your internet, even your electric bill. And I'm just saying na for us, you can have an emergency fund and you can make advance payments para makushon yung future um, emergencies mo. Uh, I right? have a question though. Kunyari daw, nakapag-save na sila sa emergency fund nila. Mm. Nakapag-save sila ng four months. Do they stop putting no. in their emergency fund? Or do they continue putting dun sa emergency fund na nila pag na na nila yung four months advance nila? So, my question is, let's say my job loss. Mm -mm. If yung cushion mo lang is three to four months, uh -uh. mape-pressure ka to look for a job and earn money within three to four months. Uh -uh. But if you make a cushion enough for four to six months, di ba? Now, may buffer ka. Uh -huh. You're able yeah. to set aside. Di ba? That's why 
kailangan i-build up yung emergency fund. Yung mm. very crucial po yan, especially medical expenses. Mm. ba? Diba? Sometimes you just need to buy medicine, yung check-up ng uh, family mo. Minsan, your in-laws, your mom, your dad needs money. Mm-mm. You can tap into that emergency fund. Mm. ba? Diba? Okay, so number two is avoid unnecessary debt. So with an emergency fund, you can avoid going into debt to cover unexpected expenses, which can save you money in the long run. Yes, okay. so it's, it's very important that um, to avoid unnecessary debt, kasi mangungutang kayo, pagkulang yung pera mo, Mag-uutang ka. Mag-uutang ka. Parang ginawa mo. Oh. Ginawa so, natin. <laughs> we're, not, we're not saying na you will not have any debt, but you're avoiding unnecessary. Oh, like Kung baga how? may utang ka na, nagka-utang ka pa ulit. Oh, like how? So, paano? paano can, how can you avoid? No, di ba? We have um, normal debt that we have in terms of uh, we're paying for utilities or whatever. Oh, oh. Pag nagkaroon ka ng um, like this, the unexpected um, emergency, emergency. Oh. di ba? Now, because you have an emergency fund set up, hindi ka na mangungutang sa iba. So, kung may diba? emergency fund ka, mag avoid ka ng pag-uutang. Yes, more utang. Avoiding more unnecessary um, debt. So, kaya importante ang emergency fund yes. para hindi ka na mangungutang sa iba. Number three naman, you'll have the flexibility or may wiggle room ka. Basically, you don't have to dip your hands into your savings account. ba? Diba? So, meron, meron kayong savings account. And then you have an emergency fund. Mm-hmm. So pro- problem is, if you don't have an emergency fund, kukuha ka dun sa savings mo mm-hmm. or baka retirement money mo yan. Mm-hmm. Diba? Or probably tuition ng kids mo yan. Mm-hmm. Diba? So it's mm-hmm. important to set aside that um, emergency fund to give some buffer during these unexpected moments, right? Of course, this is easier said than okay. done, diba? So I'm sure madami nagsasabi, eh, kami po... Um, sakto lang Oo. or konti lang po yung sobra namin. O, paano diba? namin gagawin yun, di ba? Okay, so, kami, ang ginawa namin is, number one, you need to build the fund. Mm-mm. It doesn't necessarily mean kung 10,000 a month ang, ang so, ginagastos nyo, ah, okay, gastos. ang monthly gastos nyo, okay. makukover nyo agad lahat yan. No. Di ba? How will you do this? So, the building the, the fund is actually very challenging. Di ba? Kasi, kung in and out ang pera mo, ang check mo, pumapasok, lumalabas agad, mm-hmm. how will you be able to set aside? So, if you are living paycheck to paycheck, it may take time to save up enough money to cover several months worth of expenses. Mm-hmm. Hindi nyo po magagawa yan agad-agad. If you're capable, fine. But, don't give excuses. Mm-hmm. Kasi everyone can probably put in a small amount. Like, if you can avoid going to a restaurant, If yeah, you eat in the restaurant, that. if you go to a rest, that's for saving. Mm-mm. But this one naman is to put into your um, emergency, emergency fund. fund. So, if you will avoid eating one or two times in the restaurant or even an extra shopping day a month, diba, you'll, you're, you'll be able to set aside probably what? three, 4,000 a month? Yeah. Diba? And then later on, it will compound. So, that's why it's called building up your your fund. So, yeah. adjustment of lifestyle. Mm. Diba? We discussed that yes. before. Yeah. Which you're able to do, diba? Nakapag-adjust kami ng lifestyle. Yung may mga bisyo dyan. Oh my, oh my gosh, you're right. Pwede na ninyo, pwede na ninyo tigilan ah, yung bisyo okay, ninyo. Right. Dahil, kung yung bisyo nyo has something to do with your health, nakatulong na kayo sa health ninyo, nakabuild That's pa okay. kayo ng emergency fund. That's a very good okay. point. Okay. Eh, yung mga ibang bisyo pa na nandyan na hindi naman maganda right. sa'yo aside okay. from Um, things that are not good for your health, itigil na ninyo yan. Kung nakakagasos kayo ng uh, malaki dyan, ilagay na lang ninyo sa emergency fund ninyo. Yes. You know, all these things, it reminds me of self-control, Len, eh. Mm-mm. Nagagawa mong i-control yung mga, um, yung sarili mo sa mga wants versus needs mo, Mm-mm. sa mga priorities mo, in, instead of um, focusing on the things that are not really that important. I think it's it's very crucial also not to make our family members suffer like what you said. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ang ganda nun, baby, na take care of yourself para during that emergency, hindi ka nakaabala ng ibang tao in your family. Oh, yeah. Number two, pinakamahirap to. Mm-hmm. Kanina, I talked about self-control, diba? Mm-hmm. Temptation to spend. Nako, mm-hmm. yung temptation to spend <laughs> yan, 
ipapractice yun dyan ang self-control. Yes. Ikaw, alam na alam mo yan. <laughs> Dahil, nagawa mo yan. Charged to experience Oo. na po kasi ako eh. Oo. So, you have to stay disciplined, yes. di ba? It can be tempting to dip into your emergency fund. Gagalawin yung emergency yeah. fund na yun for non-emergency things. Allah. Wag na wag din yung gagawin yan. Paano diba? pag, honey, may 50% sale? Hmm. Emergency yun, di ba? Kailangan kong bilhin yun, 50% off eh. Ay, Nakasave ako 50%. Ganito na lang ha. <laughs> ganito na lang, mamili kayo. Magandang vacation hmm. or ibibuild nyo yung emergency fund ninyo. Mm. Or uh, maybe buy something na gusto ninyo dahil nakita niyo ah, ang laki na ng emergency fund. Kunti lang. Kunti lang. 20% lang na emergency fund kukunin ko. <laughs> nako. Ay, nako. So, yun yung temptation na kailangan ninyong i-resist. Yeah. ba diba? So, these are the things that, you know, we really need to practice self-control. And stay committed to that, um, to that, uh, what do you call that? Emergency Mission fund. of ours to save that emergency fund. So, ano ba yung end goal, di ba? When, when you invest, when you save, when you have an emergency fund na gusto nyong i-build or palaguin, ano ba yung goal nyo? You know, if you, if you have the capacity para mag-set aside ng emergency fund for six months to one year, and then after that, mag-spill over na yan sa savings and then you can invest, di ba? That's the ultimate goal. Mm. Di ba na you can have an emergency fund to to cushion your family for emergencies mm-hmm. at the same time my savings ka to spend for your mm-hmm. wants mm-hmm. diba and then later on you can invest that's diba? right yeah. so that's the end goal in mind so don't think pag nakuha ko na yung 3 months 4 months ng emergency fund kukuha na ako ng konti dyan. stay disciplined it's gonna take time pero gusto namin kayong i-encourage diba we will all start somewhere some are starting from scratch so, kahit na baby steps yan, you're still gonna progress. So, keep working hard. Oh, and I think, you know, um, yung pagbibuild natin ng, ng finances natin, pag-iipon natin, you know, it takes talagang a lot of, ano, not just discipline and self-control, pero yung pagpupursigi talaga, yung thinking mm. out of the box, ba? Hindi lang yung kung ano yung work mo, yun lang yung gagawin mo. It's also going the extra mile in mm-hmm. creating more avenues to make money. Yes. And um, siguro kung may asawa ka, pag-usapan ninyo, oh honey, paano ba natin palalaki tong emergency fund natin? Or paano ba natin sisimulan to? You have to be honest, mm-hmm. ba? We all know that everyone has different financial statuses. But yeah. then, the whole point here is, you have to be honest and see there kung ano ba yung pwede mong um, tanggalin na muna in your life, in yeah. your life para lang um malagyan mo tong emergency fund nito at ano pang mga extra na pwede mong gawin para ma-build niyo yung savings niyo yes. keep pursuing for that emergency fund mahirap siya i'm telling you it's going to be a challenge pero when that emergency time comes that unexpected event you will feel relieved kasi meron po kayong na set aside na emergency fund so please stay disciplined in building and maintaining the fund and use it only for true emergencies. All right, so thank you so much. We hope that you learned a lot from this episode and see you next week. Please also let us know what other topics you would want us to discuss. Yes. Uh, we would love to hear from all of you guys. Yes, so leave your comment, suggestion in the comment section below in our YouTube and Facebook channel. Take care. Thank you.